Hello and welcome to today's uh, Kerbal Space Program tutorial. My name is Mike Turner and I'll be uh, attempting to land a base on the moon today. Um, and not just any base. Uh, I was playing the career mode and got a challenge. Let's go look at it. Uh, to put a base on the moon with uh, certain specific specs. There it is. Okay, so it wants me to... Uh, well, I guess the big thing is putting uh, putting a base on the moon with space for 19 Kerbals um, with a research lab um, and obviously power antenna and docking port um, and, well, maintaining stability. I don't know how you could possibly fail that aspect. Um, so I was looking around on YouTube because uh, it, you know, maybe, you know, someone else did this and I could get some insight into it, but I didn't really find anything um, for this specific contract, so I decided to make my own tutorial video. So just a quick little rundown of what, I'm, what I've got here. Um, a Mark II lander can um, with four of these uh, boom arms attached I made out of some scaffolding. Um, at the end of each there are um, these mobile hitchhiker storage containers, what do you, I've, what, hitchhiker storage containers. Uh, and then in below uh, the Mark II lander can I've got this mobile research lab. Uh, so if we do the math, that's four, 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 four for the uh, Hitchhiker storage containers, total of 16. Um, and then the two for the Mark II lander can and two for the mobile research lab. Um, got our docking port here. Um, I couldn't really figure out anywhere else to put it, so it's on top. Um, I've got this little escape pod just for funsies. Uh, below that, uh, just real quick, um, some fuel. Uh, you know what, I'm going to streamline this a little bit. Just put the fuel on top of the other fuel. Maybe it'll look nicer. Alright, that looks good. Um, a poodle engine here. Uh, you know, just for moving the thing once it gets up there. Uh, uh, simple asparagus staging down here. Um, if you don't know what that is, check out my other YouTube video on the asparagus staging. Um, six of these skippers, skipper engines, and then in the middle a mainsail. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can fly this thing. Oops. All right, here we are. Uh, toggle SAS, engines up, and let's do it. Oh yeah, just as a quick note, this thing costs about 190k Kerbin monies to build, uh, which is well under the uh, 400,000 Kerbin monies that are awarded for actually completing the objective. So. Um, that's basically the really only the consideration the really the only consideration I made when building this thing uh, was trying to turn a profit um, because that is the name of the game in career mode. So yeah, mission accomplished if the mission is accomplished. Hopefully nobody's hanging out on the launch pad because that could be bad. Falling fuel tanks.
so yeah, I brought along a, uh, I don't know which is which, a pilot, I think it's this guy, uh, an engineer and a scientist. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they'll get some experience. All right, at 10,000 meters, time to turn her over. Looks like everything's going pretty well so far. Um, all right, I'm going to do a little fast forwarding here just to speed things along a bit. Um, yeah, everything's going pretty well. I uh, had to switch to the the poodle engine um, halfway through my burn exiting Kerbin. Uh, which was fine. Um, it got me there. No big deal. Um, and we'll pick it up right when I am getting closer to the surface here. Just as long as I don't hit the ground before I mean to, I'll be just fine. Hmm. Am I going to clip that mountain? <laughs> oh, wow, it's going to be close. Uh, I think I'll be fine, though. I think. And then hopefully we can find a nice flat spot in the crater somewhere. Ooh. This is not optimal. Look at that. Look at that, eh, eking by. All right, let's point this thing in the retrograde direction. Get ready to burn off some of this Delta V. Those Kerbins look a little nervous, and for good reason. All right, uh, this looks pretty flat up here. We're going extremely fast, so I'm going to just go ahead and start the burn. A little nervous about how low we're getting, so I'm going to tilt it up a bit. It's not efficient, but maybe necessary. Okay, we're actually climbing now, so that's good. Uh, or not. But regardless, it looks like we're gonna be just fine. Probably gonna have to use some of this last stage to sort of get into position, but um, doing pretty well.
put out this landing gear. Killed off that lateral delta V. Hopefully it's a nice flat spot. Looks decent. Try and get it down under 10 meters per second for the landing. Oh yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Ah. Well, good enough. I really would like it to be flatter. Well, whatever. Seems good enough. Okay, so did we do it? Yes, there it is. Boom. Contract complete. Fantastic. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial video. And, um, well, let's, let's detach this little lander just because oh crap there we go let's go yeah. This thing is hard to control, or it's just super responsive is the problem. Um, there we go. Now we can set it down. Nice and straight. Bloop. There we are. Okay, we made it. All right, now we can switch back to our moon base. Get these solar panels going. Get all set up here. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.